managing invasive species is not just a solution for biodiversity. When we manage invasive species, we have ecosystems that are more resilient to the growing impacts of climate change. This work through the Jeff 6 project is not only important for the region, but it's really going to show the real benefits that come out of effective management of invasive species for the world to learn from. Jeff 6 has been really instrumental in not only providing the funding to do some of the activities within the island, but also in the way that it was able to be used to set up something as useful as PRISMS. I think that's one of the biggest success stories from the Jeff 6 funding. We've really used this project to help countries address one of the major issues, which is a resourcing challenge and that is to support the bringing in of experts or national invasive species coordinators. And the drivers leading this work are our battlers, as we like to call them. We know that removal of invasive rats, we will see a renewed abundance of seabirds and those seabirds bring the nutrients in from the deep ocean that then flows back to the reef which is the first line of defence against climate change. So Island Conservation is the lead agency for the Predator Free Pacific element of the PRISMS program. Our relationship with the Ministry of Natural Resources and Commerce in the, in the Marshall Islands has developed over the last few years. PRISMS is really uh, important for us, they provide us with the technical assistance and you know Marshall Island is a very small country. During COVID when we had the, our first eradication we have to do it remotely with support from our uh, colleagues and friends uh, from Island Conservation. After our eradication we realized that a lot of birds are start coming back to the islands, a lot of crabs so the landowners were really happy after that. In terms of food security, the Marshall Islands is not a place you can just go down the road to the shop. You rely on what you can grow to, to protect people's um, livelihoods and, and food security, as well as protecting biodiversity and making a positive impact for climate resilience. How can that not be money well spent? I, I really enjoyed field works on eradicating rats. That's it's really awesome. Now that we, uh, we have the capacity to, uh, to eradicate in works, I think we can build on this and we can do more. A key highlight of the Jeff 6 is the development of the first NISAP, which is the National Invasive Species Strategy and Action Plan for Tuvalu. But we have also done the revision of new NISAPs for Tonga, for RMI as well as Niue. This is the first NISAP for Tuvalu. So I really thank the spread for this. We make some uh, consultations with the Out Islands. Uh, and they came up with all their problems and all this. So we have put it in the, the NISAP. So we need to control or to eradicate all the pests that are included in that NISAP. It's all in there. And also we can get uh, our funds from donors because they just go through that uh, NISAP. No, that's how we really need them. Having this shows to donors that yes, we've done a priority exercise and these are the things we need addressing so that once funds become available, it's really easy to pick up the priorities that countries have set for themselves. Kosnate Island is where most fishermen go and fish for their fishes. We thought it was very important to eradicate the rats from there. I was involved through the project as the project officer. As a woman and a mother of two, I want to set an example for the younger generations to let them know that this job is for everyone. Invasive species is not only a task for men, but also for ladies as well.
So in Tonga, we've got the Vava'o Environment Protection Association managing a really important ecological site on Mount Talao, which uh, protects one of the most endangered birds in Tonga called the Henga Henga. Through their funding support, we were able to engage more community-based ambassadors. So we now have a team of seven women that all work up Mount Talao and are involved in the rat management. We know from being able to be up there more through the Jeff Six project that the Tongan Whistler is really increasing in its numbers. We have also had some sightings of chicks for the first time ever. And another example really is the pig management program in Niue. They are the leading country in this field managing feral pigs. Pigs are a big problem. Not only did they destroy the environment, they eat a lot of seedlings, they forage on the forest floor, they eat a lot of the also native species like the coconut crab, but they are, they're a big nuisance to the farmers. They destroy a lot of their crop plantation. Under the GIF 4, we were able to develop a feral pigs management program. When GIF 6 came along, we were able to uh, really use some of their funding to upscale some of the activities under that program. So we were able to purchase ourselves a truck, purchase ourselves some of the specialized equipment that's needed for the hunting dogs in terms of the GPS collars. It's one of the main invasive species challenges that we do face is the lack of resourcing and also the lack of capability and capacity in terms of personnel that's needed to successfully implement some of the invasive species programs that we have in Europe. I'm really excited that we're able to help provide some of these results and demonstrate these for the world to see and hopefully be able to take invasive species management on a serious level because its impacts are equally as serious.